Hey Cancer, welcome to your monthly reading for July 2023. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're going to go through some general messages here for you guys for the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, we have number 22 here with tender embrace. We also have quieting the mind, number 32. So some of you, this tender embrace could be you connecting with a person. Um, some of you could be overthinking a connection as well. Um, others of you, this is like being in your own comfort. Um, embracing yourself or just like comforting yourself by quieting your mind, right? Really trying to, yeah, just connect deeper with yourself. And we have the shining through energy. So I just feel like there's this sense of like you kind of getting your energy back in a way or you know like by doing self-care self-work working on your energy making sure that you're feeling okay that sort of thing like looking after yourself that that allows you to really kind of shine through to your highest potential in that sense um i just saw 11 11 or sorry 1 11 on the clock um i'm also getting that like if you're overthinking a connection this is also like indicating like just let it play out and let the relationship shine through let the relationship kind of evolve in the way that it should rather than overthinking it and trying to control it if that's what you're doing some of you could just be kind of overthinking it though like just kind of worried about it let's see what the tarot has for you though cancer so this is very like two of cups energy and like you being a cancer sign obviously that's actually venus and cancer the two of cups card so and it's 22 but let's see what does cancer need to know for july 2023 also happy birthday to any july cancers let's see cancer wow we got the ten of swords right off the hop so ten of swords we got the eight of swords yeah definitely in your head around something so definitely need to kind of quiet the mind here we do have this ace of wands five of pentacles five of wands ace of swords interesting two ten or sorry not two tens a ten and eight but two fives and then two aces here we also have the Nine of Wands, yeah, Seven of Cups, the Strength card, and crossing the energy, we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, quieting the mind, clearing the mind. We have Ace of Pentacles here. We got three Aces. This is great. There's a lot of potential here. I do kind of feel like there's an aspect of you maybe standing in your own way or <clears throat> just not even having maybe the clarity that you need. That's the struggle I almost feel is the clarity that you feel you need in order to maybe step into a new aspect of your life or just to be able to move forward from a situation. There definitely could be something that you're kind of holding on to that you're struggling with or you're struggling like letting go of it. It's like it kind of keeps following you around. Um, and that's where, and it could be with regards to relationships, but I also just feel like this is again about doing kind of the self-care and the things needed in order for you to gain control back of your internal energy right your internal system in that sense um let's see what this ten of swords is here for you cancer let's clarify things here for you why is this ten of swords here we have yeah strength card this is like what you're trying to overcome but you're struggling with it ten of swords five of wands strength you could be struggling with it but with that being said the strength card is the only major here even thus far so i feel like this is something you have the strength and the capacity to overcome it's all these little things kind of like holding you back and that's where i just feel like this quieting the mind is going to be helpful for you why is this eight of swords and that could be in any sort of you don't have to sit and meditate to do that why is this Eight of Swords here for Cancer? We have the Death card. 
Ace of Cups. Now we have all aces. I feel like there's like a fearing of the transformation. Again, I just feel like there's a lot of like self-care, self-love. Pouring into self. Um, there could be also just like this fear of starting something new. Like it might not even be the fear of like letting the thing go. I feel like you're maybe struggling with that a little bit, but it's more so like the hard part is like the stepping into the new. Why Ace of Wands? Okay, that is Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups. So there's kind of this like, this wish, this dream that you have. You want something better for yourself, obviously. Who doesn't? Why the Five of Pentacles? We have the Empress. You might not feel value, valued or worthy, or you might not feel like you have a, have enough. Like there could, there definitely, I feel like this past situation could have like knocked your confidence or something. Like there's something where mm, you're just not feeling a hundred percent. Why the Five of Wands with the Queen of Swords? Why the Five of Wands with the Queen of Swords for Cancer here? King of Pentacles could have been with an Earth sign. We do have this Ace of Wands. I feel like for some of you, there could be a new situation or a new person in your life. You're having a hard time letting your guard down. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords. So there's this change that's happening here. Give me one more with this Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, and this Ten of Pentacles. Or sorry, King of Pentacles. High Priestess. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're having a hard time trusting your intuition or uh, accessing your intuition because there's a lot of mental chatter. So that's where I feel like quieting the mind because then you can get a more clear answer for yourself. And even with this Ace of Swords, like the clarity can come through. Why this Ace of Swords? We have the Emperor. Is there another card? Yeah. Emperor Five of Cups. And then we have the Magician. I don't feel like you want to regret this situation. So I, I feel like you see a potential or an opportunity here. You're not wanting to pass it up in like, how do I want to wear this? It's, <laughs> I know what I want to say, but it's like putting it into words. I feel like you've, you know, you've brought and re you're bringing in this new opportunity. I think it's like whether it could definitely be a new relationship it's like you're not maybe clear on it you're struggling with it a little bit but then they're like if they're the one i don't want to regret my decision so i want to be clear on my intentions or clear on what this person's intentions are like we have divine counterpart energy here at the king or sorry the emperor and the empress i almost just feel like there's a sense of it's interesting both like the emperor is the five of cups the empress is the five of pentacles Like one person's doubting themselves or not feeling worthy of that or having, again, a hard time to struggle. It's a big shift, a big change, but it's like clarity needs to be brought in here in order for this to fully manifest and to fully be tr like moved forward or to transition forward. Why is this nine of wands here? Okay, we have the fool, we have the eight of wands. I also have the, yeah, the Star, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So there's a, a, just a bit of resistance here. However, I also feel like you're at the end of a cycle. Nines are the ends of the cycle, and we also have the, the Fool here. Yeah, Page of Cups. Like, there's definitely some sort of um, offer here. I just feel like you're struggling with it for some reason. Why the Seven of Cups? I think the struggle is the clarity piece. I think if you could see things clear clearly, you wouldn't be questioning things so much or struggling so much with it. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Cancer? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, Temperance, like, it's like you're weighing your options. Not that you have a lot of options, but you're just weighing it all out. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. Like, I feel like you're trying to take your time, not rush things. This communication could come in relatively quickly or like this. Again, we got a lot of aces here. Why strength? Yeah, two wands. It's going to take a lot of courage. 
for you to open up emotionally, I feel, King of Cups, to this situation or just to open yourself up, open up your heart space because strength and like um, Leo energy is very heart centered. And I think it's because of this past situation, like you've been hurt before in the past. Maybe you just feel like you're not quite ready for this, but I, I just feel like there's a lot of overthinking, a lot of like mental chatter in that sense that is just maybe more so what's holding you back like if you didn't have your mind trying to talk you out of it um or just even confusing you i feel like it would be a very it'd be very clear and very simple so your advice here look at that we got the two of cups at the bottom your advice we have the chariot the knight of wands and we have the two of swords i feel like your advice is to follow your heart follow your desires um and don't let your mind get in the way like don't overthink things here because i do feel like there's a lot of overthinking and once you can overcome that and like take control of the situation just move forward in the direction you want to move forward in um i feel like things will start to take off quite quickly as long as you can kind of like get out of your head. I feel like this is like a get out of your head reading. You're really kind of caught up in, in everything. And I just feel like it's a big change. Things have maybe like been a little chaotic. I do feel like there's a big ending in your life that you're still trying to like work through or process or just like overcome. Like, it, and it might've just been fresh and now there's like this new thing. And it's like, this is a lot of change. Um, but I don't feel like this new thing is coming from a bad place. There's a lot of potential here. It's just whether you're going to embrace that potential um, and just quiet that mind and, and let this shine through. Let this opportunity show you what it's really all about, right? Give it, give it the chance to do that if you feel called to. So that is what I have you, Cancer. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of your other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.